So it's a it's a Mitsubishi. It's based on the Toyota. I'm sorry. Toyota's a division of Cummins now too. Speaking of depressed, this dent is depressed. Oh, no, I just... Well, can we get a good idea of that? Uh, yeah, that's pretty harsh, obviously from the door swinging open because the door checks are broken off as they are. When you see these dents, it's always this. The door is swung wide open multiple times. And the screw so, were to try and pull it out? Um, yes, yeah. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, you know what? They may, That's all beat in. I think the screw rolls might have been an attempt to get some Bondo to stick in there. <laughs> a fun, that's in over an inch and quite, look at the hump in it here. Oh. Like that, that is really up there. It's pushed way up here. Big kink all the way down to there. Big smiley face in it here. So really we're looking at a dent that's probably like that. And then this one is much more localized because of how sharp it is. So I think the fun will be seeing if we have access. So we're going to rip the door panel off now that we've had our obligatory before shot. What the hell is this yeah, thing, Miles? Overall. Let's 60s. have a looky. This is a 1966 Chevrolet K20, so therefore three quarter ton, four by four. Oh, I love it. Uh, you're the right owner for this. You think? Does this yeah. kind of fit in my well, way? I, it does go well with all of your other uh, life ruining. Man, this thing is cool. Look at how nice it is inside too. It's all restored inside. So. This is how to give up 600 hours of your life. 600, yeah, and counting. It's <laughs> in counting. We'll have the old instruments still in there. Oh, I love an original dash. Yeah, love. What's this wheel? Looks That's like a Chevelle a wheel or something. Six Nova. Oh, okay. I love a three-spoke wheel. Oh wow, you got her all tidied up. So I guess uh, not really too hard to figure out how that comes off. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get that off of there and have a look at the dent of the day here. So we gave her a quick grind. We did look inside. When we see inside, right where the dent is, there's really no access. So uh, we either cut a big opening in the door or we can pull it out and see how close we can get it from outside. And then maybe there's still room to put a dolly in there. So we decided, at least for now, being that this is not a showpiece, that we're going to yank it out the best we can and see uh, see if we can get a dolly in here after. So we're giving her the old porcupine here, and uh, the idea being just because we cannot get a good swing from inside the door, we'll see. This is a pretty tough kink even for this approach, but uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll either make a mess of it or we'll fix it. And if we make a mess of it, you're not watching this video. <laughs> Stay tuned. Would I anyone guess. notice if, if it That's got right. worse than what if, I, if I fuck up a car in the forest, does anybody notice? <laughs> the thing is, just yanking on this isn't going to do anything. We got to be hitting here. You're even better off with steady pressure here and tapping because you have a lot more control. Okay. This, if you go hard enough, you're just going to break it off. So the idea is to combine tension out. We're trying to roll this. We're not trying to make a mountain range here. We're trying to roll this whole area. So the, the idea is if you keep the stress out of it, that this will be a lot easier to move than if it's fighting that. So we're always trying to push all the, look at the hump there. Oh, I don't know if you can see. We got a flat line, a straight line anywhere, but I mean, that's up a half an inch there. there that will show you. So let's watch what happens. That come out. damage goes all the way back to here. That's a big eyebrow. So always trying to push it into that hole. Oops. Scratching up the Don't cow. worry about it. She's going to get painted again. Oop. And she's off. So that's okay. We'll put a new one on. Keep going.
toes. Ooh, yeah. I like shine. that. I like that. I used to use the same ones over and over. Wow. I didn't think they would melt again and attach. Yeah, when, well, when you're pulling modern cars, you hardly, you know, now of course, you don't do that anymore. But, right. But, uh, really sticking them on. Look at the sides compared to the little dots around those ones. Gotcha. So we really got them stuck now. This is the key, is if we can undo this guy here. Okay, clear. Yeah, you see it starting to move. It's starting to want to go. This takes. There she comes. Oh yeah. Change in direction. A little extra unfriendliness. Yeah, a little extra. Now we gotta take our time. Keep going down. It should start that coming guy. a little more now. But oh. we really gotta get some. Okay, we're gonna get a little nastier now because we've released all that stress out of there. So now, if I beat on this, it's not gonna turn into a hard, sharp line, right? Okay. It's just gonna. Now we can push it around because that big sharp kink is gone. Right. Now we've got a rounded situation. So now, we, I mean, I don't know. You can see that it's we're getting warmer, but it's still, still, this is too, you shouldn't even be pulling there, right? Like that's just gonna make a mess. You're just hoping. It's like a You're kind of long hoping. bomb. Yeah. And maybe we get a little bit of action out here. This, look at the, the hump yeah, here, yeah. the mighty hump. Try it if you can Monty see that. Hump. Nice. So I think we have to start coming in from the sides now. Oh. So, what are we, about 20 minutes in? Just putting studs on. And uh, we started up here, pulling, hitting, pulling, hitting. You can see the original eyebrow is moving down and we've been going up from the bottom, not even thinking about this. We're just trying to push this, all this extra metal it has to end up here eventually, but it has to get there. So we're going, we're pulling and pushing, pulling, pushing, same from the top. You can almost see the, the waves as they get smaller here. Yeah. And this kink has come down, all this big hump is gone. And we're just, this is brutality, but really we're going to, that's going to be the only visible signs that we did anything and those can be quickly migged up. Yeah. Uh, so we're down to here and uh, now you're really just looking for the bear to put the next stud. So I mean, really we're kind of going to be right there, we're going to be right below the line there. We, we start walking this in a bit, so anyhow, it is coming, it's very, it's not as nice as if you had access, but I think in the end we'll make it look pretty decent. Alright, that looks uh, like hell. So, alright, see you later buddy. Done. Done. <laughs> uh, we're Straight to paint. Actually, really good on the overall shape, still a lot of localized bullshit. But I think what I'm thinking now is that at this point I'm going to try getting a dolly in and see if we can iron this out a little better. What's up, Dean, buddy? Hey, man, good. Yeah. What do you got? You got the canoe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy. finally. <laughs> I love that thing. Yeah, man. We got some tires there, boss. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Them up yeah, I got, got the, I cleaned up those pieces. What did you flip, buddy? I, oh, I sold the Saturn, man. I'm kind of sad about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm okay. So this is all I have left to drive right now. Well, that's it could be worse, buddy. It could be worse. Uh, hey, Dave, open the door. Let's have a look, buddy. Look at this. Big it's car. Dean's <laughs> flip of the month. Yeah. Man. It's, it's not terrible, car. Dean. It's not a horrible it's equivalent it's, of I mean, Indian cloth. But you can look. see it looks like someone burnt it with a cigarette here. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Who cares, though? Yeah, Who cares? 500 years old. Yeah, it's 500 years old. Yeah, look at these seats, three. eh? Do do I don't know. What we really got to do is put the wheels back on it, and four brand new tires for the Dean machine. Yeah.
Frankers, come here, please. I just. Frankers, Frankers, <laughs> good girl. I can't even answer that. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, oh shit. Uh, watch out, you guys. Oh damn it. Oh, you're down a disc. No, no we're good. We're just. Uh, I hmm. forgot to kind of sand this, and the bondo is already mixed. So we're not sanding it for very long. I guess is my point. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick. The clock eat be ticking. Okay, watch your eyes and ears and whatever. This qualifies as sketchy dustins. Okay. This is a flat black quality repair. It will be good enough for flat black. But this whole door was caved in. Like I went in there and I hit it a couple times and it just popped ghostly out. So we got bang bang. That was already cracked. This was already cracked. And this uh, came right back to life. That was the only, this was the hardest one. The rest of it was easy times. I think this qualifies as sketchy, dusty. So, my favorite thing to do with sketchy dustings is to see if you can put all the Bondo on before you have to sand. So, I'm going to go inside, mix the Bondo, because by the time I get back out, this will be rubbery enough. Yep, it's already getting there. I'm going to put the Bondo right over top, and then we're going to sand that, then we're going to have it fucking painted before Miles is finished with the tire. This is like used car lot, my favorite <laughs> kind of stuff. I just love the greasy used car lot repairs. So, whatever, it takes a few minutes. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna hit that with 40. We need any, anybody got any dents? <laughs> Who's a sketchy fucker, eh? <laughs> like. <laughs> Miles will love that. I feel like we don't even tell them about that one. on this car, this little Lincoln that I've been cursed with for the last few months. No, it's what, What's correct. the story on the wide white? Do you know what, man? I don't know. These guys had these whites and they were like, we're blowing out the whites at a low tail price. And I was like, 
How could you not want whites? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Do you want to buy my 77 base LTD? Nope. No, I no, know. It's factory yellow and rusty. Oh, yeah. That was a pretty quick end. That was, yeah, that was like, I don't have to think about that very much. Like, yeah. It's like rusty and... Is that my two door? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the, I have two four doors. Hard to, I bought a bunch of cars, man. They're fucking sweet. Uh, 68 Dodge Polara. Oh, yeah. I thought it was the 59 sedan. Biscayne. No, I got that yesterday, man. Oh, okay. So you got one since yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> Not even joking. I'm so upset. Uh, so so blue, great. Four door, so you know, great. Sedan. I may have seen that car. Just a sedan. No. Yeah, back yeah. in Edmonton. Nice. Sure, we're seller in Edmonton yeah. back in the day. It's Chinese Chang, but it's wide, white, and it's kind of like, you know, the Lincoln deserves it, man. I can't be rolling a Mark V, you know, Diamond Jubilee with skinny whites. You need wide whites. I needed the gold rims kind of cleaned up. It took me four hours at least, maybe three. To get these rims at least to this, we can keep the blue walls if you want. To put <laughs> oh, I think they need to be cleaned be up. Good. Okay, let's make them white. But I don't want Scott to know I stole his. Well, he's gonna know now that I said it. Darren, <laughs> I stole his steel. I stole his steel wool. So I stealed his stole steel wool. You're just gonna grease you for it. Now, well, maybe I, I I got so much grease he's going on right now. Cars coming in by the dozen. <laughs> if somebody really, wants, I mean, I got so I got an LTD that I need to work on, yeah. and it needs my help. So that's why the Lincoln needs to go because this L, this LTD really needs to get done. And you're gonna have to help out, Stephen, with <laughs> with mounting the 13 inch Dayton's on it, yeah, getting those and help out with the hydraulic pumps and stuff, and the dumps we gotta do, and the battery rack, and all. You know, it's gonna be a lot. So we should do. A low well, what are you gonna do for paint then? Candy green or something? Nice Mural of you know a mural of Jesus on the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That'd be kind of cool, eh? Yeah, it's Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I'm just joking, but you know, ever since I watched T.J. Hooker back in '70, when, when was T.J. Hooker, Dave? Probably. Well, 1981. Was it '81? Yeah, 85, yeah. So it was back in T.J. Hooker days. I just remember the. Um, him chasing down the the gang of the lowriders, you know. Oh sure. The Vatos, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and those six four Impalas and all. He's like, but one guy had like an LTD. And it was like bouncing. And I was like, oh, is that a seventy seven Land out with hydros? That is so amazing. I was just like, oh my god. And then I was kind of like, and that was like when I was a kid. And then I was, all of a sudden I thought when I got to Alberta. I thought I had to kind of say, collect LTDs. <laughs> did you so that's DC? how it all started then. Did you collect them in DC? Never, no, never, please. never. What made you collect them here? Well, I thought DC. about how kind of important the uh, 74, 73 to 78 big Fords were. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember as a kid, when I, was, I went swimming back on the island as a kid, I remember seeing uh, like an old 77 Pontiac Parisian with skirts. Yeah. You know, like a nice, like light brown, two tone brown. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, oh. And I was a kid, I was like three, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Things like brand new. I was just like, you know, I'm supposed to build sand castles, but I was like, checking the street. <laughs> it's very important we save the old mm -hmm. 72 Fury, the Foster. backyard from old man Scott here. Old man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go knock on this door like, excuse me, sir, are you selling your 72 Plymouth Fury? <laughs> you'd be like, yeah, here are you rotten kids. I don't know. Maybe he'd be like, Dean, shut up. <laughs> like, what are you doing here? And I'd be like, oh, go on. I just tried to buy your cars, man. Give me uh, a break. Yeah, I should. I hey, will do some trades with Scott. I should do some trades. I've never actually think I've gotten a car from him. Oh, yeah. Well, his friend, actually, but not really him. But... He's got, you know, he's got cars that are here that are great. Oh, they're all great. <laughs> Love them, man. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it down to Sketchy Dustin's, buddy. Anytime. <laughs> what are, speaking of sketchy, what are you guys doing? Check out, yeah, I don't know, look at the old Lincoln. I spent so much time trying to get those wheels even better than they yeah, are. Yeah. And freaking, I had to, man. It's like, you know, once you're... It's your livelihood, man. Church, Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, <Listen. laughs> it's, 
I don't know what, what I'm saying. What the hell? <laughs> Should we jack it up and if anyone has a tire wrench that could help me with lug nuts. Actually, do help you with the lug nuts. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now, man. <laughs> Dean and his first set. How old are you, Dean? First set of new tires, buddy. I'm 13. 13. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, think, I don't think I've actually, it's always been auto wreckers or used tire places, you know? Oh yeah. Are you torqued? Yeah, all torqued. How about the wheels? Yeah, all torqued. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, pulled LTD wheels away. You have the only real laugh that sounds like a fake laugh. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got my keys. Deets! Oh my god. Oh, what happened there? Oh, Steven, the power seats are really weird and finicky. This car's got a lot of issues, man. <laughs> you don't say. Whatever, it's cool. I mean, I like it. Cool. Oh. We need deeds here. 460, buddy. Woo! Go. Boom. Yeah. Ford power. Come on, deeds. What the hell, man? Here he comes. Franker, you stay. No, no. You, get, you don't get Frankers. shoddy. Frankers no get shoddy. No, oh, hey, let's, right. see this, let's see this link. Conti, the six foot guys in the back yeah. of the Conti. <laughs> this is big. where the chicks sit. <laughs> we have to watch. Celebrating the end of it all. Into. You got reverse got lights on this like bucket of rubber. shit? I don't know, man. <laughs> Do you want to back down there and drive out? Oh, huh? Shit, we're not gonna get out of here at all. No one gets out alive, Dean. No one gets out of Continental Town alive. Oh, are you gonna do it fucking Rockford style? One hand out the window? Man, if you if you clip a tree, I will never stop laughing. I will never stop. Just fuck it up. Just fucking total it off. Oh, new tires, big caved in quarter panels. You all right, Mike's fingers move. I just got a oh C gosh, back there. There's a bunch of cars see. parked back behind us. So. Oh, or they, do they have red good. flashing lights? Yeah, we couldn't get a very good picture last night of the old driveway dust. Came out fine. We never got to hear it run last time, so oh, yeah, this time it, yeah. we should probably fire it up. Park three quarter ton springs in the back with a leaf, okay? And Probably here. Is this thing going higher? Let's quit raining for a second. Let's have a look what's yeah. under the. So, 454, not original. Right. Originally it was a straight six, three on the tree. I bought it with a 454 in it already that someone had sabotaged. And then I rebuilt the engine, punched it 40 over, all new cam, lifter, springs. Had to replace a couple valves because of damage. Rebuilt the 750 CFM carb, headers back on. And she's a runner. 20 minute break in. And so far it's got under 300 miles on it, I think. Nice. Did a 700 R4 four speed transmission in the back because I knocked the 400 off the jack and the housing shattered. Like just peanuts so, so thin. So four speed and then 410 gears below. Four tens. With a uh, locker in the back, Detroit True Track locker. And I was able to do most of it by finding used diffs online for 250 bucks. Full hubs, so I added those onto the diffs. Oh, so it was a 4x4 four four truck from new, though. From new. Four yeah. By four, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So that's the original transfer case. Original transfer case. So what is it, MP205? 205. 205. MP, yeah, and it's, gear, it's completely gear driven. So, yeah. in a massive cast iron housing. Like it's, Great. Yeah. it's a tank. Oh, yeah. I have the same. Gorgeous. But uh, we did want to get a final after shot of the sketchy weekend dust in driveway. That's the fun shit, eh? The the old used car lot driveway stuff, totally shooting fun. them on the gravel. Yeah, Pull in twiggies. for an afternoon, start bullshitting. Right, have some pizza, a couple of beers. Right. You leave your so, car actually looks better than when you came over. That, that doesn't usually happens. that doesn't usually happen at places you where know, vehicles like this again. go. Yeah. This is a pretty redneck rig. This is as red as I've ever been. But yeah, this it's is pretty redneck, yeah. For sure. Justin? Yeah. yeah. Hey. You want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> Do we want the whole neighborhood to hear it? Why not? Oh, this microphone's going to shit its pants. It's hopeless. Oh, it's a quiet little dog. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah.
Oh, it is. It's actually well behaved. It's quieter than your car, I think. Just so well behaved. Just like nothing. He doesn't get stuck on the way out. Are you gonna need a push or are you gonna be okay? I think she'll get there, Next on the DS uh, list here is to find some way of mounting the controls for the AC and then find switches and uh, knobs that we like instead of just whatever came with it here. Anyway, this, uh, I wanted to put them where the radio was and then one of the radio, but uh, there's, just, there's just no room with the uh, evaporator there. So uh, since, uh, oops. Since the owner of the car is not really too worried about having an ashtray, I've decided that we will take, oops, so we're going to put a dummy radio in here. So I'm going to take a, an extra one of these which we had, which was damaged, and I'm going to section it and we're going to fit it in where the ashtray was, and then we're going to put the controls on there. So. Here's uh, the damaged one. I've already cut it in half here. So the idea is to file the two edges till it looks pretty close so they maybe won't notice it. And then we're going to put a new, oops, nice work there. I'm going to put a new face on this. But interesting, maybe somebody can tell me why the radio faceplate in these cars is made out of brass. I mean, I can't imagine that that's cheaper. But anyway, brass radio plate. Section down, and uh, now I'm going to put a new fascia on here, and then we're going to mount the AC controls in there. Miles was kind enough to stop in and prep the deck lid for the DS, top and bottom, so that goes uh, off of the to-do list. And now it's finished the hood and paint those two items. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in air conditioning town. Stand by the pull wheel right there. Wow. Is that installed, installed? No. Or oh, that's marked? That's marked, more or less. And you but you push it all in again. Let's have a look at the painted uh, cooling system here. So now we got to put it together for the final time. Luckily, Al's here to supervise. Yeah, yeah. Al's here, doesn't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> but he's here. <laughs> he's here to nevertheless ensure that it goes smoothly. Okay, so we're going to start. At least witness that. <laughs> we're going to start by sealing this all in so the air has no choice but to go through the core. Look at what Ash gave. Nice little. What flangy. a profile. Is this like a D profile? Duckbill lip rubber <laughs> weather strip with two sided adhesive. Nice piece. Right, ready to go. Look, wow. there's enough of it to do the whole thing. Twice. Jeez. So, I don't know. Would you go like that? You're the boss. Well, You're the boss. I'd stick it to the box. Hmm? You'd I'd stick, stick it, it to, to the, the box, box and not to the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I would go in there. Right? Well, I guess you don't really know. We're just going to just gonna fucking get her, to, get her in there. Get it in there. 
not really much point in this is the fun part over planning this oh right? it seems like that went well <laughs> Jeez. some of the brands are just atrocious would you go that way or this way i would go this way well, if this were a seal the, that's you gotta a make whip the seal decision. right yeah i would say yeah, i would go that way so i'm oh, gonna man, try get this close up here Jeez. oh i don't oh. know i'm going in see he's just jamming it in there see how he's doing that it's going good look at it. boom look at how nicely that fits could you ask for anything else i could not ask pretty good okay yeah i i think all right and then gravity seals it gravity seal because i don't think foam is a seal well, it's not a, it's not a fucking submarine. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure, right? <laughs> I didn't know how far we were going. Is it going into outer space? Oh, like... shit. Hey, vacuum <laughs> fucking tight. <laughs> not sure. Uh, oh, Sometimes you get carried away with things, Scott. Well, that's the thing. You Same. could argue that we may be approaching that point already. Yeah, it's looking splendid. I think people have seen enough. Splendid. Not. Thank you. <laughs> Slowly going. It's very deceiving with this butyl in there. Just yeah. feels like you're not going, but I think we are. Yeah, we're stuck here. Oh, I see. We have to come. It's just slide in the butyl. Slide. That's okay. Hang on. Looks yeah, good. we're done. That's it. Oh, that's sealing out. Okay. Cool. So there will be a little more foam work once we are yeah, I'll put the once front it's here. inside. And some foam work in here. Yeah. Yeah. Button her up. Look at that. Wow. That's a nice thing. Where's the bolts? <clears throat> They're all 10 24s except for one is a quarter 20. What kind of torque are you going to put on these? Uh, yeah. You going to put a thread logger on them? Nope. That's a quarter 20. What about an anti seize compound? Yep, I have thread locker and anti seize on, and they cancel each other out. <laughs> so that's smart, right? Yeah, you gotta get bolts. Very smart. Otherwise, you're gonna have troubles. I cannot believe, after all that, how nice that looks. Why not? Crickets from L. Oh, why wouldn't you believe that? Well. Uh, That's why it's it cricket, looked pretty right? crude for the first 99% of it. Doesn't hurt anything though? We took the fenders off the car again to uh, start with the undercoating rust, uh, rust proofing process. So I'm going to uh, shoot some black tar over top of uh, all the vulnerable surfaces. This is the non hardening type of stuff, so you can't paint over it but it also never dries, so water can't get underneath it. So just anywhere that there were repairs. Anywhere that there were repairs is uh, compromised, so that all has to be, this all has to be uh, covered in tar. Kind of a shame on the shiny pieces, but that's the reality of the situation. The car is a driver car. So we're gonna do all in the wheel wells, then we're gonna do the inside of the fenders, and then I'm also doing the, uh, the lower uh, structure here, at least going to go in the first 12 inches or so in the most vulnerable and also the most repaired areas. This was all made from new, so this all has never been undercoated yet. So I'm going to do all that today, right now. Then we will unmask all this and then we will start spraying the, uh, the wax oil uh, rust proofing in all the seams. Then we can finish assembling the interior and such. So that's the plan. We're going to we're going to put the roof on, and now that the undercoating is almost dry, from the bottom to the top. <laughs> you don't want to say nothing, man. She, I work <laughs> back again. I work back again. It's okay. You just play music over. <laughs> yeah, a little roof mountain music. Play me that mountain music. Oh, I. All you gotta do is just put a symbol in. Are we gonna need to sand the scotch? I think we're gonna need to We've already cleaned this. that all pretty well. Well, I'm wondering if just like a light scotch just Absolutely. to knock it off. Just to knock it off and then blow it off and start gluing it. Absolutely. I'm very content with how it was supported. I think. Okay. Yeah. So, I think something 
worth supporting, okay? Are you guys having the Citroen club meet? Oh, we're just oh. talking about trucker hats. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we're not talking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah one good trucking hat. You yeah. gotta have. Oh, you gotta have one good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good a good one. one. And, yeah. uh, I wouldn't say. Good ish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine's not quite owl level, but it is oh, not man. as nice. Any more of those tall, cold beers around? I can get you one, buddy. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, now I got some. I got the angle. Okay. I think it's. Uh, oh, thanks, man. Oh, yeah. That's just a random cut, or is it? Looks all Let's see this side. This one's cut the opposite. Let's spin it around. Pick up your two corners. And just trade some. Oh, the dance. <laughs> it's like the mating dance to try and get it to accept its, uh, its new partner. This is not going to really put up too much of a fight as long as we have the, the amount of stretch that we need is almost insignificant. Yeah, it's just a very shallow dish. Yeah. Anything. No, this is not bad. I thought it would be a total. It would be an ideal toboggan. Lightweight. I got a couple extras. Oh. You got one that's kind of fucked. Yeah, we got one that has a sunroof, which make it much cooler tomorrow. Yeah, you could wash the snow. You could wash yeah. the snow going under you. Of course. You yeah. Good air. You could yeah. take a picture. <laughs> Mark it. Sounds like Steven's already shaking these cans. Time's ticking. Cans are warming up. Yeah, come in guns are blazing. I have two cans. Like, one's not going to be enough. I better bring a reserve can. So, so are we going to be trying to tuck it and then just cut it? Or yes. Yeah. We're not trying to pre-cut it. No. Unless we do one side and it's such a murderous nightmare that we decide to, but... Okay. You know, hold it. What density uh, would you say that half. foam is? A medium? I would say it's a light density. It's very light, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I would, I would give it a, huh? Hey, what would you give it? A kilopascal per millimeter. Yeah. Very small yeah. rating. Very light, open-celled hey, foam. You know. Wait, uh, masking, masking, masking. Oh, it's getting trigger happy. Just, just give it. yourself one shot. A lot of guys, they don't even, they don't bother with masking. You just, you take a beer box and you just run that parallel to what you're spraying. That's good enough. Uh, yeah. Beer box mask. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah no, that's tried, oh, yeah. Tried, you know, tested and true. Yeah. Reliable method of doing things. Oh, yeah, big tape doesn't want you to know that. Yeah. Kind of slow down. Oh, wow. The glue fountain. He probably knows that the uh, the straw in the can is at the top. He can do a. Well, well, yeah, yeah. We're running out of gas. Man, that's gonna be gluey. Good.
your size. Sure, it's not a Cummins. Dodge half tons or three quarter tons, I don't even know what it is. And as far as I know, a pretty original vehicle and probably worth a quick look and if I'm lucky, uh, worth a short test drive. And of course, Paul's brother Dan has the Cummins powered one, so uh, Paul wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't want to buy the exact same truck as your twin brother, but maybe one just ever so slightly different. Whoa! Sweet. What? This, you weren't kidding, nice. It's so clean, buddy. Haven't washed it, haven't done fuck all, that's how I brought it home. Really? So you haven't driven it too much, have you? Uh, I drove it twice. Your brother came over and drove it. Oh yeah? Yeah. My dad drove it. Well, I'm like last in line. <laughs> My dad, who does not drive cars fast, was like, that car is fucking slow, that truck is slow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think I give the model a run for its money. Really? What yeah. year is it, Paul? 78. 78? What year did they offer these diesels from? Uh, 78 and 79 for sure. Right. And that's about as much research as I've done, so. Okay. I'm sure some anorak will fill us in. Uh, how do you open the bonnet? So, there it is, wow. Mitsu Diesel. So it's a Mitsubishi. I'm sorry, what, Cummins, you said? What's the model of the engine? Six something 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 or other. Uh, right on, thanks. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> six DR5. Yeah, six DR5. Oh, there you go. Apparently it uses the same bell housing as the Toyota does. So if I okay. wanted to repower it and go even slower, I could do that. You could, <laughs> and you even, you already have that here too. Isn't it based on a Toyota engine? I think it's based on the think the Toyota 2H. It has a Chrysler alternator. It does, yes. As a regular alternator. That's so. the replacement since it got home. That came off that Imperial engine we had. Oh, okay. The belt's hanging it's in like pretty the good. Belt's there. Hanging oh together. yeah. Well, is this a low mileage machine or what? Uh, I think it's got 70k on it, like kilo what? 70 thousand kilometers. That's it. Wow. And I'm sure it wouldn't have started in the winter, so you can take half the year. Sure, off half the year's right out. Yeah, well, then 2015 sure. for Does sure. Does it start in the summer? Yeah, yeah, it starts pretty good. <laughs> the power steering lines, they come off, like there's a Chrysler okay, power yeah. steering pump, clearly. Yeah, right, yeah. And then their hydro boost brakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Which is kind of cool. Well, to I guess there's no vacuum to deal with, right? So. <laughs> hey! Use Mopar uh, hydro boost Power steering? Fluid. Yeah, well right there. There you but go. But they don't, obviously they... Oh, what's this? Is that a data tag there? Wow. We're just tagging right out on this one, eh? Yeah, there's just one right here too. Beacon right out on another data tag that's illegible but still cool. 
You could you could kind of read most you of it. You could probably decode it if we had to. Tool storage, which none of it is there. And right on. Uh, on. Any other parts bin Mopar this? No. Probably. It looks pretty Except slant the, sexy, oh, but yeah, this with, is not. Yeah, that's with different. that look, that looks like it was just tacked on the end of it. Sure. So they probably pulled this out of the old. It's probably. Thing. Yeah. Sure. Look at where the vacuum thing for for uh, warm, everything warm up would be. Yeah. So that's a slant six air cleaner that's been repurposed. Can we fire it up? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm excited. Good cold start. Have cold start. start. Yeah. Let's hope it starts. You see how you start it? This, the instructions were <laughs> are right that. here. The diesel cold starting. Oh yeah. Which obviously um, I haven't seen beforehand. That's cool. And it's got factory glow plug light. And then the, the glow plug light, I don't know if it comes on when it's cold or not what the situation is, but you can actually warm it up faster by pulling Oops, this. And then it just recirculates. Is that a throttle? No, that just recirculates the exhaust gas. This oh, is the okay. throttle right here. Look at this so. 74 dart wheel in it. Oh, I know. Oh, dude, I love it. That's, my, that's, <laughs> that's your plug. favorite part, that. yeah. So the glow plugs actually work. Yeah. So is it on? You got a light? Yeah, there's a light on it. You can... Oh, let's see. Supposed to hold it on for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Yeah, okay. It's almost exactly like the Toyota setup to start it. Yeah, okay. And then you just hold it right to the... Right to the floor and... And then crank it. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Pretty clean. Like, I think it'll polish up pretty good. It's like the opposite of Dan's van. Dan's van's a bit darker. Yeah, yeah. And then it's got the seven. I just up. absolutely love it. It's got so it's two wheel drive and an eight foot box. Yeah. yeah. And stick, four or five speed? Four. Four speed. Yeah, with low. You, you would need, I don't know how. You'd, what are the it, gears you think? Wait, four tens. Four tens. Yeah. And if, so she's like well, 60 you, miles an hour. No, it'll do. We had it to 110 on the side road there, and it'll it'll do that comfortably. Yeah. Like it'll okay. Hold, it'll hold 70 miles an hour. Right okay. Day. It just takes a long fucking time. To get it. <laughs> when it starts getting up into the RPM, it actually holds. So I think if it was slowing down, it would probably perform exactly the same. The so 200 is three quarters. And then the okay. custom would be the trim. Custom is all the two tone. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it is so cool. Look at that, yeah, eh? Covered up by a seat cover. Uh, just push the. Uh... Yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sweet, eh? Yeah, unbelievable. That's great. But, you know, look at how clean. Really cool. I, I do really like the seats. That's neat. Oh, it, it matches Dan's van quite well. Oh, and it's a great friend for the van, oh, eh? Yeah, so that yeah. was one of the reasons we're looking at it. We're like, ah, fuck, it's so close. Them. And this exhaust kit has gone now. That was somebody had replaced the whole oh, yeah. system on it. So this has got to come off. Oh, look at how clean it is in here. It's yeah. Oh, low mile. Like, never seen out. one that's not done here. Yeah, I know. and that's original I know. paint. I know. That's a wicked idle look. Oh, yeah. Can we go for a ride? Absolutely. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna take the uh, sorry, Paul, 78, 78 Dodge, yeah, 78 Dodge Mitsubishi Diesel. I'm sorry, what kind of Cummins was it again? For a rip, because this will be the only time that I'm ever gonna see or drive one of these. So here we go, four on the floor. Is that in? Uh, I oh, will find. Nope. nope. And I, have, I haven't used the e brake, it's apparently new, but. <laughs> okay, the throttle's just. The Fraser is very, very touchy, and this one is not. No, so this. I'm afraid to hit the gas because my car goes, Bleh! if you even touch it. No, this one you have to. Uh... You have to, like, you'll, you'll see what I mean. You gotta keep it into the RPMs to keep yeah, it. Yeah, that's great. No problem. That's easy. It's just sometimes they're fussy. Oh, yeah, you gotta rev it way, way, okay. way higher. Is there a tachometer? No. Oh, more than that. Really? Yeah, like, 
you'll see what I mean when you uh, when you hit the next corner. Yeah. The window's a little shitty, but you can still get the new, which is nice. Oh yeah, it's nice and tight though. It's really. Oh, tight. it's so it's solid. There's a lot of parts that were replaced on this, like brakes, tires, all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah. And you could tell it was it was used, but it was not used. No, it's like never the been have used. Well, I mean, it's got to be one of the last ones. Like, how many of these? So that's okay. It sounds like it's revving up, but, but it's it's not. Yeah. So you wouldn't shift up the four. No, I would. You see what I mean when you shift to the next gear, even when it seems like you're really revving yeah, the piss no, out of it. Dies. Yeah, it just kind of falls. It's kind of weird for a diesel to need revs and not have much torque. <laughs> I know, I know, it's weird. But you can see when you... So you can see why they didn't sell a lot. The thing, the mistake that they made, I think, when they designed it and, and marketed this, was that they, they marketed this as an economy option, right? Isn't that the case? And then, I believe so. Because the, the Slant 6 had better performance specs. Right, for sure. So... And people this, knew how it worked. The only reason you would buy this is you wanted good mileage. Whereas the Cummins, when that came out, that was marketed as highway truck power. Yeah. And see. look which one they still make. The Cummins, which, I mean, around here, it's it's ubiquitous. Every second right? truck. Every second truck. Or two in one driveway. That guy has two <laughs> in his driveway, yeah. That guy has one. Yeah. Like, they're, uh, they're everywhere. I really like the way it drives, though. It's a really, it's a really good driving truck. Yeah, like if it's it was sold. just a gas truck, it would be cool. But the fact that it's this extremely weird diesel is just fun. How do the brakes feel there? They're good. Oh, well, they're a little weird to get used to, but they seem to work well. Yep, they work quite well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh yeah, you got a really rolling, eh? Yep. Oh, sorry, buddy. Yep. I can handle it. Zero. Coming up on 30 miles an hour. And there we go. And 30 to 50 in top gear. Hold down. Coming up on 40. You see, once it starts getting in the RPM range, it actually picks up quite nicely. Yeah. It really rides well. I'm like, not sawing at the wheel at all. No, and like I said, it seems like you're revving, like revving it to the moon, but you're really not. But no tachometer. Right? Nope. So what kind of mileage were they rated at? You know what? I've never actually looked into it. Yeah, how much gas is in it? Uh, it's full. Well, like just full. about three quarters plus. Okay. Well, it's been it, it was full when I got it. Yeah. So. It's gone down to three quarters, or either that or the fuel gauge doesn't work. Right. Yeah, once you get used to having to rev it a bit, it's, it's nice. It's fun to drive. It's very similar to your 8990. You can see the have kind of continued the same shit well, for years. It's the same body, yeah. yeah. But it, uh, yeah, but it does feel a generation older just because of the, the Plymouth Valley and wheel and stuff. That's the best. That's my, well, as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay. Yeah. Because there's lots it. of reasons I wanted to own the truck, but that was a big guy. So are you going to commute in this? I drove it a couple times. I'm uh, just trying to merge onto the highway, just that one little spot oh, yeah. to get to work. You might as well be in the Model A. I actually think the Model A might, it feels faster. Yeah. I doubt it is. Well, I think the Model A, it might even be faster to 30 or so, because it's geared to be all done at 40, whereas this, I don't know. What's the horsepower rating on this thing? That is a great question. It was less than a slant six was. Yeah. I know that for sure. Yeah. I'm sorry, did you say 105 horsepower? That's one of the reasons that Chrysler said it didn't sell as well. You could tell Chrysler wanted to try to sell diesels for years, though. Even in the 50s yeah. and early 60s, they were trying to sell that Perkins diesel for years. Oh, yeah. Well, that was like a tax on the feed option. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is sweet. So, this is not even a project. So, congratulations. The only thing it needs is a windshield. 
a new rubber floor and a right. polish. And a polish, yeah. No, I just think it's terrific. I've just never... I, they're just kind of... I've heard of them, but I've never, ever seen one. I've, n I've never like, seen one. I have heard of them too, but I've never seen one until this one came up in auction. I was like, well, fuck if it's in my budget, which is usually pretty pretty low. Yeah. And it did, so... I always like these. The huge glove box. Yeah, I know. It's so awesome. the, that's the fuse panel yeah. there, right? Yeah. See, if this was a gas truck, this would be the perfect truck to replace yours that you drive. Yeah. A three-quarter ton stick, yeah. two-wheel drive. Well, when you get bored of this, man. <laughs> I, gotta, I want to see it start in wintertime. That's what I'm actually... Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to let you test drive it for a couple of years. Get all the bugs out of it. <laughs> you know all the new parts are worn out, then I'll... Yeah, right. Now, once you've wore it out to where it needs restoration, you can sell it to me. I think it's terrific. Could you get to half half ton with the diesel? I think so. Yeah, okay. I don't think it mattered the trailer. I wonder how many they made. When I read online, there was like 2,500 or 3,000 or something like really? that. Really? Like super low cost numbers. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I thought they made way more than that. Oh, well. And I don't know if that was per year or overall, just the stuff that I've found is pretty vague because yeah, yeah. there's not as many to compare it to. So, it's not like the Frasers where you can find information about yeah. them everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the double dish hood that these had. That's yeah. really cool. It's almost like a Roadrunner or something. Yeah, I really like that hood. So, what you're saying is this Cummins isn't a Cummins? I, I, I don't know if I can really compute what you're saying here. Oh, that's really a fine machine. Uh, who's that? Tom. Huh? Sure looks like Tom. What? I didn't know he knew where I lived. Oh, All right. That's great. Well, well, that's good. It's Tom's here. Holy shit. Same old shit. 